Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about relative formula mass. So if you've watched my videos on atomic structure, you will know that the big number of a chemical symbol is the mass number. So these two here are both mass numbers. This gives the mass of the atom relative to other atoms. So it gives the relative atomic mass. So it's the relative atomic mass and this is often referred to as a r so here are two examples here's carbon 12 and helium 4 so this means that one carbon atom is three times heavier than a helium atom the relative atomic mass the a r of carbon is 12 and the AR relative atomic mass of helium is 4. So the carbon is three times more massive than a helium atom. When we get a molecule such as sodium chloride we just add the relative atomic masses to get the relative formula mass or also known as the relative molecular mass and it's often written MR. So for sodium chloride, the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23. And we add that to the relative atomic mass of chlorine, which is 35.5. And that gives us a relative formula mass for sodium chloride of 58.5. So on this side we have water, H2O, and we're going to work out the relative formula mass of H2O. So it's worth noticing that there are two hydrogens here. So it's going to be two times the relative atomic mass of hydrogen. And we add that to the relative atomic mass of oxygen. And that's going to give us a relative formula mass or a relative molecular mass of 18. Okay, so pause the video now and try and work out the relative formula mass for H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so the relative formula mass for H2SO4. First, we start with the two H's. So it's gonna be two times one because the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one. We add that to the relative atomic mass of sulfur, which is 32, plus the relative atomic mass of these four oxygens. So it's four times 16, and that gives us a grand total of 98. So the relative formula mass of H2SO4 is 98. Okay, so just a quick video on relative formula mass and how to calculate it for any molecule. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you all in the next video.